Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we'll discover Moulis en Médoc apparition. So it is located in a Médoc in Bordeaux, on the left bank, beside Listrac Médoc, and in between Saint-Julien at the north and Margaux at the south. And the production of wine per year is of about 4 million bottles. There is 49 winemakers. So as regards its history, the name of Moulis would originate from the large number of windmills or water mills, Molinis in Latin, which once dotted its territory. These mills were mostly installed on the Jal, the name given locally to small rivers mindering the ground in search of the estuary. The overall vineyards was established in Mouli in the Middle Ages, in the 13th century, by a few feudal owners and by a religious community. It is probably the work of the monks that is due to the water work carried out around the Jal. With the arrival of the vine, the millers became wine growers. These same Poland's naturally drained by the swells that had allowed the development of rye and mills indeed constituted a high quality wine growing region. The mention of the first wine growers in Moulis appear on the parish registers in 1671. The original vineyard of Moulis developed simultaneously on all the soils and all the places of the current commune, Bouqueron, Bourg, Grand Pougeot, uh, to reach in 1892 1,500 hectares of vineyard spread over 200 farms. The AOC, Appellation d'Origine Contrôlée, was established in 1938. Uh, which makes it one of the oldest appellations in the Médoc. Moulis en Médoc, together with Listrac, has no Grand Cru classé. It exists though some classifications, such as Cru Bourgeois. So the classification of Cru Bourgeois has been a distinction for Bordeaux wines, and more specifically those of the Médoc since 1932. It allows quality wine to acquire a certain recognition, uh, when the classification of Grand Cru classé is out of reach. And it concerns eight appellations of the Médoc. There is also within this classification a Cru Bourgeois Supérieur and Cru Bourgeois Exceptionnel. From those we can cite few such as Château Branas Grand Pougeot, Château Moulin Avant, Château Briette, etc. As we get this tall to the east, Grand Pougeot and Medrac, hill tops of the Garonne are gravelly and have sediments from floods of the Garonne. To the far west, Bouqueron, it is mainly sandy clay and also some Pyrenean gravel. At the central part, which connects these mounds of gravel to each other, it is made up of gravelly land resting on clay limestone bottom. As well as Clamette, it is the same as Bordeaux continental Clamette with an oceanic influence. So the production is only red wine, using the grape varieties Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, Petit Verdot and Malbec. The wine produced are very structured, with finesse and complexity, and a very nice bouquet. They are elegant, robust and round with supple tannins that provide a lovely velvety texture with flavors and aromas of blackberry, blackcurrant, licorice, etc. So the wines of Moulis en Médoc are meant to be drunk not so young, uh, from 7 to 18 years before drinking and sometimes a bit longer. They will go perfectly well with barbecued red meat, roasted meat, but also gamay. Uh, for cheeses, it is nice to associate them with semi-hard cheeses with washed rhyme such as the Saint Nectaire, for example. A nice attraction when visiting Moulis en Médoc is La Course VTT de la Médocaine, or the mountain bike race of Médoc. It is a mountain biking in the Médoc vineyards and castles. There are tours from 25 to 77 kilometers, with testing, some concerts, etc. Of course, it is recommended to drink responsibly because riding a bike uh, with a whole bottle of wine in the stomach is not the ideal. So this is happening in May, so that's a good time to visit. So thank you for watching this video about Mouli Sans Médoc, we hope you liked it. And see you next time for another one video. Cheers! Thank you for watching this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like and share.